right, we're going to take a look at Grade 4, Module 3, Lesson 1, Multi-Digit Multiplication and Division, Topic A, Multiplicative Comparison Word Problems. All right, so um, our objective for this lesson is to investigate and use the formula for area and perimeter of rectangles. Now, in third grade, students were taught about multiplication, and they learned what, multi what the meaning of multiplication was through using arrays. So I want to give you an example of that. This is showing here that I have 2. If I'm going to say 2 times 3, then what I'm saying is I have 2 here, but I have it 1 time. Now I have 2, and I have it 2 times. And then this would be 2 and I have it three times. So two times three is six. I have two rows, and in each row, I have three items. Now, this idea translates into area as well. So when we're looking for the area, we use multiplication. If you notice here, I have some squares in here, much like the row here. I have a row with squares inside. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares in that row. But inside this rectangle, I have more rows. I have a row here, and it's got seven in it. I have another row here, and it has seven. As a matter of fact, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows. So I have nine rows, and in each row I have seven. So I would use multiplication. Nine times seven equals 63. So I have 63 squares inside this rectangle. So my area is 63 square units. I also have to figure out the perimeter. The perimeter The perimeter can be found using this formula. Perimeter is equal to 2 times length plus width. So my length and my width would be 9 plus 7. But I would need to do that 2 times. So essentially, I would be adding 9 plus 7 plus 9 plus 7. And that would give me 32 units. Now we're going to determine the perimeter and the area of this rectangle. Now to figure out the perimeter, again we think about this side is 5 centimeters, then this side over here is 5 centimeters as well, and then this top portion is 6 centimeters, so that means that the bottom portion is 6 centimeters as well. So let's lay that end to end. That's five. I'm going to turn them around to get them to be end to end. This would kind of give us a rough idea of what perimeter is. This portion we said was 5, this portion is 5, this is 6, and this one's 6. So to figure out how long it is all the way around this rectangle, we would add 5 plus 5 plus 6 plus 6. Now, I'm going to add this in my head, but I want to show you what I'm doing in my head. I think about these sixes in number bond form. I think about this six being a five and a one, and this six being made up of five and one. Now I can count by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. So my perimeter is 22 centimeters. 
Now let's do the area. Just as the array in third grade, I have five rows, and in this row I have six square centimeters. So five times six is 30, so my area is 30 square centimeters. In this one, we're going to determine the perimeter of this rectangle. Now, we have to be careful because sometimes we might want to just start multiplying and not know and not realize that it's not even asking us for the area. For the perimeter, we have to add this side, this side, this one, and this one together. If this one is 166, then this side over here must be 166 as well. If this one is 99 meters, then this side has got to be 99 meters because it is a rectangle. So I can add that using an algorithm, but I don't have to. Let's put it horizontally and think about it. This 99 is very close to 100. And this one is as well. So if I take one from here and put it with this one, and one from here and put it with this one, I would end up adding 165 plus 165 plus 100 plus 100. I can clearly add my hundreds together. It's 100, 200, 300, 400. And then I had the 265s I need to add in. Well, the 260s would be 120, so that would be 520, 525 with this 5, 530 with that one. So my perimeter is 530 meters. Given a rectangle's area, now we have to find the unknown side. So let's look at this rectangle. It's telling us that I have 80 square centimeters on the inside. And this row right here is made up of 8 centimeters. So if I think about the multiplication, I know that 8 times something gives me 80. 8 times 10 gives me 80. So x has got to be equal to 10 centimeters. So that's it for lesson 1. Um, I want you to remember that you can always go to lpssonline.com to get some additional resources. You hover over the word Parent Command Center. You go down to Math Resources and click there. Then you click the grade level you want. In this case, we want fourth grade. And then you'll get this page that shows the different topic newsletters. We're on Module 3 and we're working with Topic A, so when you click this, you will get a newsletter like this one that can really help you with the vocabulary and the strategies that we use in this module. Thanks.